yeah, you can learn somebody's story and make a connection and make a friendship. I don't have all the answers, but when we're together and when we work together, that's when we can really push each other to a better place uh, mutually. So uh, while I'm a volunteer with the Salvation Army, I receive way more than, than I've ever given. I think for sure uh, there are people who don't know where to turn right now. And I would say for some people, uh, my fear is sometimes that there is nowhere to turn. Um, if you've got an addiction in this province right now, we've just got two, I think maybe two locations where you can do a three-week recovery program, and three weeks is is like a blink of an eye. I mean, it's not it's not long enough. So um, we're really not. I think we've got a, a, an oncoming addictions crisis. We've certainly are in the midst of a mental health crisis. So yes, I mean, there's many people who need a place to turn, um, and the Salvation Army doesn't always. Uh, we don't always offer everything that's needed, and we don't we don't always offer our services perfectly. I can say that most definitely, but. Um, we want to expand and, and we want to do things that are relevant and are needed in the community. And certainly uh, building the new uh, Hope Center is t working towards that goal, to being a place where people can turn. There is such a huge need existing in our community today. The vision that's being cast for this new building, if you can have confidence in the kind of hope that's going to reside there and, and the kind of hope that's going to be built up around there, I think, yeah you should definitely consider uh, putting some money into it and helping us make those dreams a reality.